Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This video has been so highly requested and I'm so happy to be filming it right now. Now this video is in association with Pack Brushes. I actually went down to their stores and um, like went through all of their brushes. They have like 200 different sorts of brushes and I went there, it took me two hours to like sit down and find out all of the brushes that one would absolutely need uh, for their starter kit or if they're a beginner or somebody who's a makeup enthusiast and uh, I am also going to be doing a giveaway by the end of this video. I'm going to be giving away three kits of makeup brushes and they are going to have seven brushes each. Since there are a lot of brushes and this video is a bit elaborate so I wouldn't say this would be for a beginner but um, this could be like a starter kit or like a brushes 101. You would know what brushes can be used for what and I'm also going to be giving you a lot of different sort of options. Now I thought of doing this video with just like seven brushes which would be like the must-haves but then I thought you know what let me just show all the other options that are available the things that I like to use now for foundation I would highly recommend that you use a dense brush now using a dense brush gives a really um, like flawless finish it gives a really natural coverage especially with liquid and cream foundations so a brush like this one um, is really really nice to blend your foundation with it is dome shaped and you just spread the foundation evenly just glides on along with your skin uh, since your face isn't flat so a dome shaped brush like this really helps in going into the creases of your uh, face especially like um, near the nose and like on your cheek and everything uh, this is the pack 003 brush it is quite nice and thick and it also really helps in blending the foundation really quickly because it covers like a lot more of your face so if you prefer using a brush something like this would be really really nice or else you could just use a beauty blender like this one this one again is from pack uh, this is packs beauty blender and this is actually the closest dupe that I found to the beauty blender it is the softest even the beauty blender is exactly um, this soft and it just does a really good job of blending in your foundation you can just use this to dab onto your skin and it just blends your foundation really really nicely very seamlessly and you get this really natural finish next for concealer I have the pack 286 brush now why I like this brush is because it is very very dense and it has a slight angle to it and and it is a dual fiber brush so this does a brilliant job of blending the concealer underneath your eyes since it is um a smaller brush so it does not really spread uh, the concealer where you don't want it to be also it does a really good job of blending the concealer especially in creases like this and like nooks like this one on the corner of your eyes and on the inner corner and also to blend the concealer on top of your eyelids um, this one just does a really good job another thing you could also use is the pack 002 brush which is just like the smaller version of the previous brush that I showed and this again does a really good job of blending in the concealer especially underneath your eyes and on your jawline um, so something like this would also do a really good job of both your concealer and foundation so you can use this for your foundation and concealer you can again use your beauty blender to blend in the concealer since it has a tapered end it does a really good job of reaching onto their corners and to blend all of the concealer again giving you a really natural finish and uh, in case you find the beauty blender a little too big for your concealers or you have like small spot to conceal a mini beauty blender like this one is really really nice I really enjoy using this uh, to blend in like um, the concealer on my inner corner or if I have to conceal like a blemish or something and they actually have like a set of four uh, so and they are shaped differently they're all shaped differently there's the one with the flat edge uh, there's the one which is a slightly bigger and then there's um, like four different types of it in this so this comes in really handy especially if you have to just cover like a small area or conceal a blemish or like do underneath like do the area underneath your eyes this is really cute and it's really handy next moving on to powder you can again use this brush which is the pack 002 brush to apply powder you can use this to set your concealer so since the shape is really small so it just sets the powder on top of the concealer and 
and it does not let it budge or you can go with a brush like this one this is actually my first ever pad brush and I absolutely love this this is actually the softest brush that I own and the fluffiest this is the pack 282 brush and you can just use this to dust powder all over your face and if you're a beginner a brush like this is perfect for powder because you don't have to be precise or anything you just like dip it onto powder and then just apply this all over your face moving on to contouring I have two brushes to show you again the first one is this one uh, which is the pack 376 this is a really small and very dense angled brush which is really nice uh, if you are a beginner to apply the contour shade underneath your cheekbones um, it also does a good job of blending your contour so this is like a two-in-one so you can apply the contour precisely and you can even blend it upwards and then I also wanted to show you this brush now this is a flat brush and it is extremely dense very 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 dense uh, this is the pack 063 brush and I think a brush like this is really nice to contour your face with now this one is a slightly advanced brush if you are a beginner you can find that this would be a little difficult to work with but it does a really good job of precisely applying your contour it leaves really clean edges what I found is that this brush is really really useful uh, for um, contouring your nose it was really easy for me to contour my nose using this because it has such a straight and flat um, edge so it was really easy to uh, contour my nose and also my forehead and my jawline next for blush I also prefer an angled brush like this one this is the pack 305 brush now you can even use this to apply contour but I'm showing two different ones just so that you get more variety uh, this one isn't as dense as that one so this can help you blend even more easily and why I prefer using an angled brush for blush um, is because it really helps in sitting onto your apples of your cheeks uh, if it was a dome shape one then when I smile it just applies on the top of my cheekbones but it does not really apply here so there's like a gap between my bronzer and my blush but with this I can like go it just sits really easily on my cheeks like this and then I can just apply the blush and it just applies the right amount of product so this would be a must-have for a beginner because this is like a multi purpose face brush moving on to highlight um, I absolutely love this brush uh, this is the back 045 highlighting brush and this is one of the best highlighting brush ever it's dense in the bottom and uh, lighter on the edges so it just picks up the right amount of product and it just you can blend the highlights so well it just gives such a nice natural finish I also like using this like underneath my eyebrows to apply the highlight color on my brow bone uh, Fariha actually did a review of this brush on my blog so I'm going to link that blog post down below so that you guys can see her opinion on it as well moving on to eyebrows um, a necessity in your makeup brush collection would be an angled brush an angled brush can be used in so many different purposes I like using an angle brush to fill up my eyebrows if you've watched my eyebrow routine you see like how I use an angle brush I'm going to link uh, the video down below so that you guys can see how I do my eyebrows uh, but you can use an angle brush to do your eyebrows um, you can use this to uh, do a winged liner using a gel liner it is really easy to draw a winged liner with an angle brush because it already comes shaped like that you can even use this to apply um, eyeshadow on your lower lash line uh, so an angled brush comes in really handy and this is the pack 372 angle brush I really like the bristles in this one it's quite sturdy um, and I also really like the length I think it's the perfect length and this one picks up the right amount of product for your eyebrows and also for a winged liner next for eyebrows an absolute must-have is a spoolie uh, this is the pack 322 spoolie uh, you can just use this to clean out your eyebrows or you can even use this to uh, clean out excess mascara if you've got too much mascara you can just use this to clean it all in moving on to eyeshadow I have four must-haves uh, the first one is this brush which is like a flat shader brush this is the pack 289 brush now why I chose this brush is because it is 
um, longer than most shader brushes and it is denser and fluffier so you can not only really apply the eyeshadow but you can even blend the edges because it is not very sturdy um, uh, it's sturdy at the end but fluffy on the top so it's a little pinched here um, so it picks up the right amount of pigment and it also helps in like doing that first step of blending so this is like a really good brush especially to begin with this I think again would be a must-have for a beginner and then I have this brush which is the pack 391 brush this is a crease brush now if it weren't for a brush like this you wouldn't get a really precise and clean crease application now this applies the uh, pigment right on the crease and it also helps in blending and you can also do like a wind swiper motion so it helps in applying the color onto the crease really cleanly a dome shaped crease brush like this is an absolute necessity if you are starting out with makeup or if you want to really perfect your eyeshadow application now the next brush is something I wish I had bought when I first like started buying makeup brushes and I didn't know this would come so handy and this would be the brush Brush that I would like the most so this is actually a pencil brush please buy a pencil brush if you're buying eyeshadow brushes this will change your life forever this one is the 106 brush there is again another uh, pencil brush which I really like uh, which is the pack 388 brush uh, this one is smaller and denser uh, this is a little bit more advanced brush so I do not include this in the video uh, but the pack 106 brush uh, it is uh, tapered in the end like so and it's really fluffy so it's great to blend eyeshadow underneath uh, your lower lash line now that area can be a little tricky especially with brushes like this which um, a crease brush which I used to use earlier um, they used to get the eyeshadow way down below and it used to look really uh, dirty uh, but a brush like this will give you a more precise application to smudge in your kajal to apply uh, to continue applying that crease color from uh, from your crease to your your lower lash line um, it just does a really good job and if you want to do like a cut crease or something uh, then a pencil brush will also be really helpful to apply the dark shade like a really thin neat line of dark shade onto your crease so a pencil brush is a really good investment and the most important brush for eyeshadow is a blending brush now this one is the pack 033 brush um, this brush is pinched at the base and it is fluffy at the end so this brush is and and I really like the length of this brush um, it is like the perfect length to blend in your eyeshadow and also to apply the transition color now what this does is that it removes any hard edges and it just blends your um, eyeshadow really really seamlessly and then just gives that finishing touch you must have a blending brush in your um, eyeshadow brush kit uh, because uh, blending is key with um, makeup and you can just blend 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 using this the next thing I wanted to share is this lip brush uh, this I don't know the number oh it is the pack 319 brush um, what I like about this is that it comes in a cover so it's really easy to carry this in your handbag that's why I chose this um, they had other lip brushes but I actually liked this one firstly for the sleek packaging and and the sanitary uh, reason this lip brush is really really tapered so it has a really sharp edge so it helps in like filling up that cupid's bow really really well and precisely now if you have a really dark matte color using a lip brush comes in really really handy or if you want to uh, stain your lips first before applying the lipstick um, using a lip brush will give you a really nice and even finish so i thought i should include this in this video as well if you are on my snapchat then you must have already seen this door um, but that store is insane if you want to go stock up on your brushes or if you want to go check out brushes for yourself you can go to their store I'm going to leave the links down below but most importantly all of the brushes that I've shown you are available online that is the reason like 
the number one reason that I decided to work with them because all of them are available online and if I'm talking about it then you guys can go check it out as well and I can link them down below and it's easy for both of us and the other thing that I like about them is that they always send their brushes in pouches so even if you buy like one single brush they will send you a pouch which I think is really nice especially for traveling moving on to the giveaway I'm going to be giving away seven like really basic brushes that you would need in your life I'm going to be giving away three of these sets um, it will have the pack uh, 002 brush which is like good for everything foundation concealer powder everything then there's going to be the pack 305 brush which is slightly angled you can do your contour your blush and everything using this uh, then I have the three brushes for eyes we have the pencil brush the flat shader brush and the blending brush um, and then we have the highlight brush my favorite and we have the angled brush so you'll be receiving a set of these now to enter this giveaway you have to be a subscriber to my channel so please hit on that subscribe button and you have to follow me and pack cosmetics on instagram i'm going to leave the links down below then you have to leave a comment down below saying that you have entered for this uh, giveaway and tell me which was the first makeup brush that you ever bought so yeah i'm really excited for you guys to um, receive this and use these brushes like i mentioned i am going to leave the links to all of the brushes down below um the prices are in the links so please check the links i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye